master yoga class. People laugh out loud for no particular reason. Seems silly, but there are real benefits. Alexa, please describe laughter yoga and tell us how it compares to a traditional yoga practice. Laughter yoga is different from the traditional yoga because in laughter yoga, we incorporate laughter exercises and deep yogic breathing, and we don't do any yoga poses. And we follow that all up with a mindfulness meditation at the end. Who developed it? A doctor in India, his name is Dr. Madan Kataria, and he created a series of laughter exercises that allow people to breathe differently with the laughter exercises and also practice meditation. And this concept has spread throughout the world to 101 different countries and is being practiced at over 6,000 laughter clubs now. How did you get involved? I was always seeking a way to give back to the community and wherever I volunteered, it never was the perfect fit. And then I went to a family reunion and my cousin was there and she was a laughter yoga teacher. And she led a hundred people through a series of laughter exercises and afterwards I just felt so great. And so I said, oh, I really want to do more of this. And so I went to Bangalore, India and I studied with a founder and it, was, it changed my life. It enhances my life so much. So you actually teach people how to laugh. Isn't laughter something that comes to us in a natural setting? Well, actually, I don't really teach people to laugh. I lead people to rediscover the laugh that they've always had or that they are suppressing. Because children, when they're little, you've seen little kids laugh. <laughs> they laugh so freely. And then when we get older, as adults, we suppress our laughter and we're told to be serious at school. And then we have all these pressures on us at work and people are suppressing their laughter. And so I help people rediscover their laugh. Walk me through what occurs in a typical session. Well, usually we start out with a little bit of the history and the benefits of laughter yoga for those people who are new to the group. And then I progress quickly into actually doing the practical exercises. And we get people clapping, we get people stretching, we get people deep breathing, doing the laughter exercises. And at the end, there's a yoga nidra restorative meditation. This seems like a practice I could do at home. Is there any advantage to doing it in a group setting? Yes, you can easily do this at home, but the advantage of doing it in a group setting is that you connect with others in a very meaningful way. Uh, laughter yoga really energizes the whole room when people are laughing together and you become more positive. And laughter is so simple. If you practice it every day, it becomes a habit. And there are no bad side effects from laughter. I was delighted to be able to join Alexa for a class to experience it firsthand. She led us through a series of fun exercises to get us laughing. And we're going to clear out the clutter of our brain by pulling the mental floss. <laughs> it didn't take long to get in the swing of things. All right, let's send each other some laughter kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone able to get the same positive results from forced laughter as they would get from spontaneous laughter? Yes, absolutely. Your body cannot tell the difference between fake and real laughter, and you still get the same benefits. Initially, people who come to, to laugh with me, if they don't even feel like laughing, if you force the laughter, it turns into contagious, genuine laughter. So we have this saying, we say, fake it until you make it. So if you're self-conscious about the laughter in the beginning, afterwards you forget all about it because you're suddenly feeling so good. Have your laughter friends found that laughing socially 
comes easier to them now? Yes, I think so. The more people come to the laughter club, the easier it is for them to open up and laugh more in their personal lives. And people can notice a difference. They feel more confident. They feel happier all around, more positive minded. Is this your dream job? Yes. This is my dream job. Yeah. <laughs> I love what I do. I love being able to reach out to all kinds of people and make a connection. It's taught me so much. And to be able to hear how it affects people in a positive way, I'm learning from that constantly. And that inspires me to do more with it. And my ultimate goal is just to train more people to go out there as laughter leaders and spread the laughter wherever they go. For more, check out the website below. When we come back, why settle for a humdrum hat when you could be wearing a work of art? <laughs>